Welcome to an introduction to building a strategy in the Arb Maker Backtester. On the screen right now is the Backtest dialog box. and We got here by clicking the test button. I'm going to show you how to build a simple strategy based on the z-score chart in a couple of passes. The first pass produces a raw strategy that needs refinement, and the second pass adds some constraints that finesse the results and improve the returns profile. So, let's get started. A peer strategy consists of two scenarios, buy symbol Y or sell symbol Y, with the X symbol being a reverse transaction in either of these situations. Arbmaker always lists the Y symbol first. Buying the Y symbol, by implication selling the X symbol, corresponds to a negative z-score position on the chart. Selling the Y, and of course buying the X, corresponds to a positive z-score position on the chart. With that in mind, I'll define the buy Y first. I'll highlight the entry criteria field and select an option to populate it with. In this walkthrough, I'll use the z-score exclusively during the first pass. I move it across to the strategy builder by clicking add. Next, I'll choose the level minus 1.5 standard deviations as my entry point. There are quite a few sharp expansions of the z-score away from the mean showing up on the chart, so I'm going to add another constraint. I'll do that by adding another z-score criterion that asks the model to not only enter at minus 1.5, but to make sure that the z-score is also greater than minus 2 standard deviations. This establishes an entry zone, and to ensure both of these constraints are applied, I highlight them and then click the Add button. Now I'll define the stop loss. Based on the chart, I'll choose a stop out level of minus 2.5 standard deviations. If that is breached, I'll be taken out of a tree. Sometimes chart appearances tempt users to try more extreme z-scores, but statistically minus 2.5 is aggressive, and beyond that there's usually something disturbing the equilibrium of the pair, other things being equal. I'm going to set my profit target for full reversion by asking the software to exit trade the moment the z-score breaks above zero. Now that concludes the configuration of the strategy for the negative half of the axis. To replicate it on the upper positive side, I only have to click the mirror button. Note that the textual description box can be consulted to double check in words that the user has done exactly what he intended. Now I'll run the test and see exactly how this strategy played out. And here are the results. Globally, these are positive, but there are numerous failing trades, and some of these are large. What can be done in the second pass in editing to improve that? Well, one option is to add a constraint on the entry triggers. For example, I'll add a requirement on top of the 1.5 to 2 standard deviation zone that reversion already be underway. I'll do that by adding a direction criterion specifying that reversion to the mean for at least three observation must also be present. I do this by clicking add, checking the direction is up since this is for the negative half of the chart, and hitting save. I repeat the process for the positive half of the chart with due alteration to the direction from up to down. Now I'll rerun the test to see what effect, if any, the addition of that constraint has had on the test results. And here come the results. They show a big impact. We now have only a single losing trade, but that has come at the expense of lower total profit. The point of finessing strategies like this is to allow the user to create a return profile that suits his risk appetite. Here the choice was lower cumulative profit rather than accepting a lot of losing trades and higher risk. There's a wide choice of available criterions for achieving the desired profile. And experimentation with these options is the best way to become familiar with the capability of the backtester environment. This video guide in hand with the sample strategy file that's included with every Arbmaker order is a great place to start and learn to develop your own approaches. Goodbye and good trading.